Hey guys, it's Young Mind HS here, back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about how to maximize FPS for World of Warcraft. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is hop into game, and we're going to go over some settings in game. So you want to hit escape, and then go to system. So we'll start up with graphics. Graphics, you want to run it just in uh, full screen windowed. Monitor, um, this you know is up to personal preference. If you run it on a second monitor, then you know that does not affect FPS. Anti-aliasing, you want to set to none. Vertical sync, you want to disable. Then resolution scale, you want to turn down. Graphics quality, um, you just leave this as it is because we're gonna set it up. You want to go to texture resolution, set that to low. Texture filtering, bilinear, project textures, disabled, view distance, 1, environment detail, 1, cloud clutter, 1, then shadow detail, low, liquid detail, low, sun shafts, low, particle density, low, SSAO, disabled, Depth effects disabled, lighting quality low, and outline mode. Um, this can help you. Um, it doesn't affect um things that much. But um, just for the sake of this guide, we're gonna set it to disabled. Then you wanna hit enable raid and bat uh, battlegrounds settings. You wanna click on raid and battlegrounds. Because by default this will set it to the highest amount your machine can run and if you don't tick this um, you're not actually going to see this and it will just be running in raids and it will be high and um, that can be a problem. So we're going to exact same thing for raid and battlegrounds, we're going to set it to low, texture filtering, bilinear, project textures to disabled, same with view distance 1, 1 and 1. Shadow quality, low. Liquid detail, low. Sun shafts, low. Particle density, low. SSAO, disabled. Depth effects, disabled. Lighting quality, low. And outline mode, disabled. Then in advanced, turn off um, triple, uh, triple buffering. Reduce input lag, you actually want to disable. MSAA, you want to none. Multi sample alpha test, you want to set to disable. Post process AA, you want to set to none. Resample quality, none. Um, you want to set this to, um, I recommend setting it to the lowest one you have. So you might have um, DirectX 10, I think. Um, so yeah, set it to the lowest one you have in here. Then physics interaction, you want to. Um, Okay, so this can be personal preference. You will get more FPS if you set it to none, but it does make the game a bit strange. Um, so yeah, auto detect, and then UI scale. Um, you will get more FPS if you set this lower, but also your um, UI will be tiny. So I I personally just recommend leaving it on one point oh. Then um, max foreground FPS. You just want to turn that off. And max out background FPS is just for when the game's running in the background and it's not really, it doesn't really matter for when you're in game. So you can set that to whatever you want. Then for network, um, even though it may sound like it's better, um, optimized network speed can actually lead to more lag and kind of stuttering. Even though it doesn't sound like that, it would do that. That is what it does. So just make sure everything in network is turned off. Then in sound, you want to have sound enabled, but you only want to have the important things. So music, um, you don't need emote sounds or um, pet sounds. So just sound effects, and you also don't need the things from the background. Sound channels, you want to have high 64, and sound cache, you want to have large. Then voice chat. Um, there used to be a way to turn this off, which was really useful, because um, honestly, 
not a lot of people use uh, voice chat, but now you kind of just have to deal with it. So now uh, basically just ignore this page. Then we're going to hit OK. And that will basically load up the settings. And as you can see, it doesn't look the best. But um, if you're during a raid and you're getting loads of lag, um, you will, you know, you can see the enemies anyway, because they are huge. So say if you want this to look a bit better, because you've got enough FPS and you want it to look better, what you want to do is go into settings, system, then into advanced. No, it's not. It's in uh, graphics, and you want to change the resolution scale back to about 100. Will give you just a standard looking picture. As you can see, you're not getting any of that kind of uh, pixel effect. Okay. So then, the next thing you want to do is um, yours might look different here, but we're basically going to click on log and go to settings. Then we're basically going to turn off the combat log. Because most times in Rage you won't be able to look at the combat log or you won't be able to get much interesting data from it. So we're just going to go ahead and turn that off by going to message types and turning off all of these. So now that all that's turned off and you hit OK you will no longer get damage indicators on your uh, logs. So um, if that is really useful for you, you can turn it on, but it does use up a lot of memory storing all those data. So um, I definitely recommend turning it off if you're just looking for a high FPS. Then the next thing is if you run add-ons, only leave on the add-ons you need for the raid. So say if you have, um, for example, I have in-flight, which tells you me the flight times of um, the, the flight masters. That's no use to me in a raid. So if I was, um, if I had low FPS during raids, I would turn that off. Basically just only use the things you need during a raid, such as big wigs or your UI or things like that. So this is all I've got to say for the in-game portion. Uh, let's hop into desktop uh, windows I'll be doing it on so I can show you what steps you can do there to increase FPS okay so now that you're in desktop you want to go down to the description and download my WoW FPS increase pack this will basically give you everything you need for this tutorial so it will be absolutely fine also I recommend following my overclock GPU guide if you're still struggling after this guide, um, I'll leave it a link in the description. I'll also leave it as an end card. So if you just click on that end card, then that'll take you right to the overclock GPU guide. Okay, so we're just going to open this up. And then you should have three things in it. Unpark CPU app, CC setup, and MB3 setup. So if you run MB3 setup, you will get this program called Malwarebytes. And basically what this will do is scan your PC for viruses, malware, and potentially unwanted programs. These things can really drain your PC and just really, really slow it down. So I recommend doing this frequently, maybe once or twice a month. So while that's running, you also want to run CC Setup, which will give you this. And then you also just want to run that. What this is, is basically just a cleaner for your PC. It'll just clear out all those junk files and temporary files that your PC does not need. So this will not clear out anything important. It won't clear out, you know, Word documents, anything like that. It's literally just junk files that you absolutely do not need. And depending on how much junk you have on your PC, this can vary from time to time. You see, it took me 13 seconds to clear out 150 megabytes. And considering I ran this yesterday, that's quite a lot of junk built up. So then the last one in here is Unpark CPU app. I'm going to hit yes on that. And then you want to do check status. Basically what this will do is it will check to see if your CPUs are parked or unparked. So basically what you want to do is wait for that to load up. And then if it says parked here, you want to hit unpark all. 
as we can see with malware bytes, it's just scanning through our PC to see if there's any junk files or anything along those natures or any viruses or malware that we don't need. From what I guess it's not finding anything, yet as you can see your scan is complete, no threats detected. If it detected a threat, you there would be a button down here saying uh, quarantine, you click that and then it will give you your quarantine list here. As you can see I have them, two potentially unwanted files and you can just click them all and hit delete and that's them gone forever. So the next thing you're going to want to do is update your task manager launch settings. So you want to run task manager, click startup. And then if you have anything in here that you don't really need, for example, um, I didn't need Spotify on startup because I only really need to open Spotify if I want to listen to music. And I don't always want to listen to music as soon as I launch my PC. So I've disabled that. And to disable something, you right click. And then instead of enable here, it will say disable. Then the next thing we're going to do is go to here and type power. Then it'll come up with choose power plan. Then what you want to do is untick this and under here it should say high performance or ultimate performance. Just pick the highest one you have. So if you have high performance, pick that. If you have ultimate performance, pick that. Or if you just have um, balanced and power saver, just pick balanced. And then you want to go to the plan you picked and choose change plans settings. Then you'll get this page. Um, this is all personal preference, it doesn't really matter. You, This is basically just when your screen turns off, if you're inactive on the computer. I just have mine on 15 minutes. And then put, put computer to sleep. Um, unless you're on a laptop, um, this doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, if you have a laptop, I recommend setting this to 15-10 minutes, just to save battery. So basically what we're going to do here is go to change advanced power settings. Turn off hard disk after, and you want to set this to 0 minutes. By default it will be set to 20 minutes. Then you want to go to processor power management, minimum processor state, and you want to set it to 100. And then maximum processor state, you want to set it to 100. This basically means your processor is running at max power, and it's just giving you the most FPS that it can give you at all times. Then you just want to click OK and cancel out of that. Now there's one last thing you can do and that is drivers. OK, so the last step I'm going to be talking about is drivers for NVIDIA and AMD. So depending on what you have, um, you can use different ones. So for example, say we have a, a GeForce, uh, we'll, we'll use a laptop, so we'll go for the 950, so 900M series, and where is 950? There is 950M, on Windows 10, and you speak English. So then you click search, and you'd see that this is the driver you get. You'd basically just hit download, and that would give you the driver. Then, uh, if you had AMD, if you had a... Uh, um, Laptop again, uh, let's just say integrated, and you add ATI Radian integrated, then you would hit submit, and then you would go to the version of Windows you had, and then just click plus, and you would download the top one. What drivers are, are they basically just means that your motherboard can interact with your uh, graphics card in the most efficient way possible. And it just means that you'll be getting the most out of your graphics card and you're not having waste ener wasted energy. So guys, this has been Young Mind HS. If this video helped you out, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, I do a lot of videos covering how to increase FPS in games. So if that's your kind of thing, definitely subscribe. And if you think this video could help someone, be sure to share. But until next time, I'll see you soon. Oh.